Greetings, comrades. This is Unforgiven Caleb. And it's been a while since I uploaded videos on my secondary channel, so I figured I'd, uh, show off my indie box collection. But before I do, quick little plug-in. Virgil's. I mentioned this a few times in my brutal Russian Overkill videos. Virgil's is hands down one of the best gourmet soda companies I've ever come across. Their root beer is amazing. Their cream sodas are wonderful and it, it's just a great tasting beer a root beer I should say <laughs> I don't drink alcohol but anyway if you have a supermarket and they carry Virgil's check them out you will not regret it anyway I figured now I'd show off my indie box collection I started subscribing to indie box back in October of last year and I first heard about indie box from a youtuber by the name of pro Jared and uh, what any box is is basically similar to you know a uh, loot crate where you like get random stuff like uh, based on a theme. Well, here you get stuff based on indie games, and not only that, you get the actual indie game as well. And this was from October of last year, a game I've been wanting to play for quite a while called Axiom Verge. And well, I have them out. I might as well show them off. And yes, that's a Raven statue in the background. One of the many things I got from Hastings before they shut down. Might as well. I don't need to be too professional about it. But you know, I keep the stuff in the box. So basically, this is back in October when they still did these kind of cartridges. Basically, you get a USB cartridge with a game inside. And you also get a Steam key, so if you don't want to open the box, you can still play the game. So yeah, there's this cartridge. And uh, let me show the stuff that comes with every indie box first. You get the game cartridge, the instruction manual, which has that, you know, retro theme to it, you know, like. Like those old NES instruction manuals, they're pretty cool. You also get a soundtrack for the game, which I forgot to put in the box. I had the soundtracks out somewhere, but yeah, you get a soundtrack CD. You also get a newsletter saying the, saying the contents that are in the box. You also get a couple of stickers, one an indie box sticker with the game's theme around it, as well as another sticker based on the game itself. And you get some other random things. Um, this came with a uh, poster map of the world, and this was uh, actually their largest indie box yet because of this. A little book stand. Uh, I forgot this character's name, but yeah, it's a book stand. It's pretty cool, if a little flimsy, you know, it topples over pretty quickly. Well, nothing a little super glue can't fix. So yeah, this is when I started out on IndieBox. Back in October. Now, it's been about a year since I subscribed to them, and... Of all the indie boxes I got so far, only two of them were of games I already owned prior to subscribing. That would be... This game here, Freedom Planet, and another one, Nuclear Throne, which is still one of my favorite uh, Roblox out there. But yeah, Freedom Planet, this is a fun game. You know, if you like the classic Sonic games, you will love this game. This as well. I might as well show you the content, so who knows? I might get some of you all interested in uh, subscribing to it. Anyway, you get lots of uh, memorabilia based on the game. Might as well show them, yeah. USB cartridge, instruction manuals, soundtrack, which I have to put in the box, newsletter, sticker, a few of the stickers I put on my PC case, but here's one of the game theme stickers. And now for the game memorabilia. A replica coin of Mayor Zhao. I haven't played Three Freedom Planet that much, so I don't really know all the characters yet. You also get a wallet, which I've actually used quite a bit. It's pretty cool. Would have thought I'd get a wallet. As well as the Kingdom Stone in a little pouch, which I might as well... Now keep in mind, these are older indie boxes, so you can still back order... You can still order some of them from their site. But a lot of them are out of stock, so like, they're older ones like Tesla Grad... Uh, Towerfall Ascension, those are kind of sold out. You know, Risk of Rain, it's pretty cool. Another I'm starting to like roguelikes. Let's set this over here. 
And that was in November of 2015. This is December 2015's indie box. A little dust on it. Armello. It's basically a sort of RPG board game. Kind of guy. I actually haven't played this yet, but uh, it seems interesting. So I'm not gonna show the cartridge and stuff. No, I'm not that. Though I will show in the later one. You get like a cloth poster. I'm not gonna open it, but cool cloth poster. An Armello pin. An iron-on patch. Look at those indie box stickers. Are, yeah, the indie box stickers themed around the game of the month. As well as a sticker for the game itself. And... Oh! Also comes with a few, uh... These cool like, holographic cards. There's three of them. They're pretty cool. I really gotta try this. Uh, uh, three of these games I haven't actually haven't touched since I got them, but I do plan on playing them later on. Pry away from Gary's bar for once. Now we get to January of 2016. Now it was around this time that uh, Indie Box actually raised the subscription prices of their Indie Box subscription plans. The reason for that is so they can get better quality products like better quality items in these boxes and for the most part you know it's justified yeah, here's nuclear throne uh, the second of the the two games i already own prior to subscribing to any box and it comes with a little plastic sleeve it's pretty cool just it over there and around here this is when they change the uh cartridges they're still usb cartridges but instead there's only like four or five of these, but uh, the theme around characters from the games, like just open it up, there's a USB port, plug it into your computer, download the game, you're good to go. DRM free, I forgot to add. Yeah, another game theme sticker. This one has a few extra stickers. One of them's on my case, No Popo, that's what it's called. And these are pretty cool. Um, three little mini figurines based on bosses from the game. Those are pretty cool. Also, this has already been used, but Nuclear Throne also comes with a key for the PS4 version, which I've already given away, so don't ask for it. And this is a pretty cool little maggot, um, little purse pouch thingy. Can fit a little bit of change in there, but not much. Of course, instruction manual, game cartridge soundtrack, which, again, I'm going to say all these have soundtracks, you just... I kind of took them out of the box and put them somewhere. Don't ask why. So, you know what, I'm just going to sit on my desk right now. Next up is a pretty interesting game. February 2016's Indie Box, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Heard about this game. It's pretty decent, but if you get this game, I highly suggest you play with another person. Because playing it by yourself is, let's just say, not easy. Anyway... This real quick. Oh, this is pretty cool. It comes with a little <laughs> collector's figure of Dr. Hopsy Flopsy, which it's still in the box. I'm not gonna. I took it out for, but put it back in. Of course, uh, stickers. Oh, a uh, pull it out real quick. There's like a poster schematic for the the main ship. It also comes with uh, two pendants, and they're supposed to link up to form a heart, which is pretty cute. It's not perfect, but, you know, it's a thought that counts, and that's pretty, it's kind of fitting, too. It is February's indie box, and there's a USB cartridge shaped to one of the enemies. Open it up, plug it in, and it was around... I think June or July that they switched the physical part of the game around a bit. I'm just going to set them right there for now. Another game is pretty cool. March's Assault Android Cactus. Played it a bit. It's a pretty fun game. Even better. Yep. Uh, friends play along. I'm just going to show the uh, replica uh, gang theme parts here. Little uh, badge, which is could be a little better made. You no, know, it's a little peel off a little bit there, but not like I use it that much. And you get 
you know, typical stuff, soundtrack. Also, you get nine of these little, I guess we'll say keychains of characters from the game. They're pretty cool. I wouldn't say keychains because they have little strings here. But yeah, those are pretty cool. And there's a USB cartridge. Pretty cool. And I'll admit, this one to me was underwhelming because while the game itself is good, the uh, contents of the box not so much. But that's just me. That was March's. April's is a really fun game here. Galaxy, the dimensional. This one is really cool. It has that the indie box itself has that 80s theme to it. And what's really cool, I might as well show you. Well, before I do, let me get something that that also comes with like a little statuette of this ship here. It's already put together, and I put it on top of my uh, TV show. There it is. That's pretty cool. You know, the ship, and it's robot form. That's pretty cool. And this is one of my favorite indie boxes. It has that 80s theme to it. Even though I was born in the late 80s, you know, I still appreciate the 80s. It comes with a poster. Might as well go real quick. I know you can barely see it, but yeah, it has that 80s vibe to it. It's pretty cool. That's in the way. Also, this is really cool. The game's soundtrack comes on a cassette tape. Like, a real cassette tape. Unfortunately, I don't have a cassette player. But that is cool. Soundtrack in two sides, too, so... That's kind of expected. It's a cassette tape. Now, if only I had a cassette player. And instruction manual, USB cartridge, and this I'm guessing is like a display thing for the statue, which I didn't bother with. The statue itself is good. So that's the Galaxy. That was what April's? Yeah, April's. And Maze, oh yeah. Now we get to Maze. If you've never heard of this game, then chances are, um... You don't pay too much attention to the indie game scene. That's right. A game made by one man. Dust, an Elysian tale. I don't play this game that much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie right now, but... <laughs> it is an amazing game. Definitely check it out. It's just like 15 bucks on Steam. And on Xbox Live. Not sure if it's back, backwards compatible with the Xbox One, though, but. Anyway, I'm just gonna show off the uh, game themes that it comes with. A cool little cloth poster of the World of Dust. That is really cool. Also, a collector's print. Damn, still sealed. I'm not gonna open it. Including a certificate of authenticity. Only 5,000 made. That is pretty cool. Maybe I might hang this up someday. Not today, but yeah. And... Probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen. A little fidget plush. It's pretty cool, you know. Hang it on your backpack. Show people you like dust, you play dust, and... Get a little memorabilia to show it. And of course, you know, instruction manual, soundtrack, USB cartridge, which the cartridge itself is pretty cool too. I know they're <laughs> kind of technically drives, but you know, the originals were cartridges, so I'm going to call them cartridges. But yeah, the Blade of Aura is also USB. That is pretty cool. Seriously, if you never heard of this game, check it out. You will not regret it. And this sits over there. Got three more to show y'all. Now, this is the last one that uh, has the USB cartridges. And this is one of the games I haven't touched yet, but it looks interesting. I might check it out later on. Moon Hunters. Never heard of this game before. That's the beauty of any box. You come across games that you otherwise might have overlooked, like you never heard of. Another game with a plastic sleeve. Might as well show the stuff in it. Yeah, I know you still see the... In fact, let me move that out of the way. 
All right, I'll, I'll fix all this up later, don't worry. It comes with little magnets. Ingredient recipe magnets, pretty cool. I'm not gonna put them on a computer though, because everyone knows what happens if you put magnets on computers. They screw up. And this, <laughs> this, <coughs> excuse me. This, believe it or not, is a USB cartridge for the game. Oh yeah. Large, like, sun monolith thing. I never played the game, so I don't remember the story or anything, but this huge thing is a USB cartridge. They definitely went out with a bang with this. And yeah, it's a surprisingly not too heavy. It shouldn't be, it's just a USB thing. That is pretty cool. Might make a good display piece. You know, usual stuff, manual, newsletter, stickers. And, ooh, drink coasters. It's like four of them that are pretty cool. I'm not going to use them. A lot of this stuff I'm not going to use because, uh, you know, don't want them damaged or anything, you know. In this household, they're one of a kind items. I don't want to put them in that bag, but oh well. And now for another game I haven't played yet. I thought it'd be pretty interesting Hand of Fate. Now, it was around this point where they switched from. USB drives to CDs for their physical games. Of course, every indie game or indie box has a Steam code, so if you don't want to open the box, you can still play the game. You just don't have to open the box. And this one's a little meager. Honestly, aside from the stickers, newsletter, and all that stuff, well, might as well take out the CD too. Well, two CDs. It still comes with a soundtrack. But yeah. The game and soundtrack are in here, two CDs, and I guess it's technically two items. It's a little cloth bag, which I never played Hand of Fate, but what I heard is like a RPG that involves like uh, cards or something like that. Speaking of cards, a deck of cards, which I'm not going to open up, don't want to make a bigger mess than I already have. I think I've got to try this game. It's definitely interesting. And now we get to the last one I have so far. August. Oh, yeah. Another game that if you've never heard of, you probably don't pay attention too much attention to any games. The Stanley Parable. Yeah, pardon the uh, Neanderthal video quality for dimension. I'm recording on my tablet. Well, it does have a stand. You know, it kind of tilts the tablet at angles, so you hardly see anything. So I had to prop this up in a few old VHS boxes. It gets the job done. Until I make a tripod for tablets, I'll have to settle this for the time. Or until I get a new camera, which I'll tell you when that'll be. Anyway, the Stanley Parable. A game we wanted to play for quite a while. And it is an, a hilarious game. Definitely check it out. Yeah, another game. Oh, the, uh... Yeah. July is when they started doing CDs. But August is when they started doing these little jewel cases, you know, similar to Xbox One and PS4 games. It says Indie Box right there. On the four comes with the game disc and the soundtrack. I'm not gonna show off. Yeah, newsletter, stickers. Oh, some office themed sort of a. Uh, Oh, there's got a little mouse pad. The end is never the end. It's never the end. You know, all that pink stuff. A tie. That's pretty cool. Uh, you have to actually tie it. It's not a clip-on. And these cool business cards. Hard worker. I am good at my job. Which I actually am. You know, name kind of still set. I'm a real professional. Guaranteed to perform tasks that make more profit for you. Please contact me if you want to exploit my skill sets for profit. These are actually pretty cool. I'm not going to use these, though. And those are all the indie boxes I have thus far. Now, September's indie box, which is this, Rye. This is a cool game, by the way. A um, little backstory. Um, this was supposed to come last month, but because of Hurricane Matthew, you know, indie box is based in Orlando, Florida, and Hurricane Matthew, you know, Orlando was in, sort of in its path. I'm not sure how excessive the damage was, but... <clears throat> They kind of had to 
close down shop for the time being for Hurricane Matthew to clear up and for, you know, no damage to be assessed and get things back together. So the September's indie box actually won't ship till sometime later this month, but you still get a USB code. If you're a subscriber, they'll send you an email with the USB key, or sorry, Steam key for the game so you can still play it while waiting for your indie box. And this is a fun game, but I haven't played that much, but it's fun. If you like twin stick shooters, platforming, definitely check this game out. The art style is pretty cool too. And October's indie box is Jolton. It's actually getting shipped today as I as of this video. Definitely for at, from this point I'm gonna be showing off like individual indie boxes so you show you the different kind of things that you can expect. Of course the game itself, game soundtrack, stickers, instruction manual, and all of our fun stuff based on the game. So this is a fun service, you know, my first year and it's for the most part pretty good. Premise the two most underwhelming ones are Hand of Fate and Assault Android Cactus. As far as the content in the boxes is concerned, the games themselves are great. Well, Cactus is. I have, again, I haven't played Hand of Fate yet. Though I plan to later on. Anyway, I know it's a little mess right now. I'll definitely be cleaning this up. But yeah, Indie Box, definitely a great service. Thank Loot Crate for indie games, and you get the actual indie game. All that stuff. The, the plan started $24 a month. Uh, I actually subscribed last year was before it was $20 a month, and because I'm still a, a subscriber before the prior uh, price change, I'm still locked on the lower price, so I'm not going to change that. I only have to pay like $60 every three months, which is fine with me. They also include a 12 month plan, which is like until like $200 you build, you build every year, which sounds like a good deal, but I'll stick with what I got right now. Anyway. That's my indie box collection, and I'll be showing off other indie boxes as I get them. Definitely an amazing service. Check these guys out. I've been subscribed to them for over a year. You know, if you like indie games, if you like getting cool like collector stuff based on the games, definitely check this service out. You will not regret it. Anyway, this is Unforgiven and Caleb signing out. It's been a while since I uploaded a video on my second channel. Won't be doing it too often, but when I get the chance, I will. Anyway, signing out.